Hey everybody, welcome to So With Joe. Today we're uh, picking up where we left off last time, working on my blanket project. Um, if you've been watching the channel, uh, I'm not sure whether my hand is broken or not yet. I haven't heard back from the hospital. So we're just going to keep on going. Let's get into it. Decided to sport these fancy dancy uh, forearm hand warmers that uh, my wife's cousin made for me. Very nice gift. And they are handy. On chilly days or when your knuckles are all messed up. I'm uh, assuming it's not broken, it's moving pretty well, so we'll, we'll see. Went for x-rays, haven't heard back. Anyway, positive world news. Let's uh, let's get into that right after my first stitch here. So today we're um, we're going back to good uh, good medical news. Uh, news in the medical field. And uh, they've created the first artificial cornea. Well, maybe not the first, but they've done uh, the first transplant. And uh, it has been a success. Uh, it's made from a material that embeds itself into the surrounding organic tissue and uh, becomes one with it. And apparently that uh, test went very well. So if you are having problems with uh, with your eyes or you need a corneal transplant. There might be some hope for you to get help a little sooner now if they're doing artificial corneas. And if they can make a clear tissue tissue material that bonds with real tissue. Probably have a few more uses for it than, than just the corneal transplants. Also, uh, The first artificial kidney is uh, is being made. Uh, if you want to research it further, the it's called the Kidney Project, <laughs> um, and basically it is a replacement kidney, basically um, an inline filter for your bloodstream. Uh, right now it's about the size of a cell phone and they're planning on upscaling it and going into uh, clinical trials with it. Right now they're at the uh, pre-clinical trial stage. Um, but yeah, an artificial kidney that runs only off of your blood pressure, so your blood pumping through it powers it powers it. 
um, basically your own blood pressure pushing through a, a filter that filters out what your kidneys would normally take out of your, out, out of your system. Um, but apparently it works. So that's, that's huge. I think most of these stories that I'm talking about, you can think of someone that it could affect, you know, with the corneal transplants, my, my brother, you know, I don't know if he's, I don't know what his eyes situation are, but he can't see very well um, without his glasses. And I can only see that deteriorating over time. Well, same, same with me, I'm, my eyesight's getting worse and worse over time. Uh, so who knows? All, any or all of us may benefit from that. The kidneys as well. Kidneys fail. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> you know, your filter only, only lasts so long. And human beings weren't meant to live as long as we're living now, you know, like not even a hundred years ago, living to age 40 was, was old. You know, back then you were, you, you were like grown up a whole lot faster than, than these days. You know, by your mid to late teens you're considered a man and running businesses and all sorts of stuff. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing either. Um, teaching children responsibility at an early age. I think it's a very good thing, actually. Um, you know, I think the cry out against child labor was a good thing. But I think these days you know, if a kid wants to work and, you know, is making his own decisions, then why not? The education that they're getting these days is a joke. So why not let them learn real school or real life stuff, you know, all the things you don't learn in school. So that's what you need when you're older anyways. And don't get me wrong, I'm all for people getting an education and you know if they're intelligent enough, you know, do something with it and whatever. There's just a lot of people that don't have that intelligence level that need to just work and if they can learn the street smarts that'll get them through a lot of things like um, there's this guy who does he, he just goes around and talks to super rich people basically like walks up to supercars and says hey man I love your car what do you do for a living which can be a little bit of an off-putting question. You know, it's basically like, what do I have to do to get this car kind of thing, you know, have this lifestyle? And um, one of the big questions that he asks is, did you go to college? And about half the time, no, they didn't. You know, they find another way to make massive amounts of money. Now, I really 
do believe in education. You know, there's there are jobs out there that you need a certain skill set for, and the most efficient way to get that skill set is to go and get an education, get a piece of paper that says that hey, I can do this. Um, but I think that anybody can learn anything outside of school too. You know, if you if you put your mind to it, if it's what you want to do, if it's your desire, your passion, you will get it done. Cheers. <clears throat> So this next bit of uh, good world news is pretty exciting for me because I know I've known a number number of people affected by Lyme disease, and uh, Lyme disease is one of those things that it can be really hard to diagnose, and it can also be very crippling. Um, you know, doctors will think it's fifty other things, and you'll. You know, go for tests for years, and I've, I've seen this happen with friends, and they won't get the diagnosis right, won't get the diagnosis right, won't get the diagnosis right, and then some someday one of them will go, wait, couldn't it be Dalton Lyme disease? And I think the reason that they don't diagnose that for so long is because that there was no treatment for it. Um, that was always the scary things, you know, you go out in the bush and you get, uh, get a tick stuck to you, and you might have Lyme disease, you know, depending on the type of tick and if it's if it's infected or not. Um, and now there's a actual treatment for it. Um, and it's as simple as antibiotics, and they found antibiotics that um, only kill Lyme disease and syphilis. So, two, uh, two good things to get rid of, Lyme disease and syphilis. And the, the neat thing is that they are using a microbe that occurs naturally in soil. So, when your parents told you not to eat dirt when you were a kid, after you ran around in the bush and got all full of ticks, they may have been doing you a disservice. Who knows, maybe that's why certain kids eat dirt. I have Lyme disease. I'm five years old, I speak like I'm 90. I have Lyme disease. I need to eat dirt. No, don't eat it. I'm gonna keep having Lyme disease if you don't let me eat dirt. Sorry, wow. The scenarios that go through my head sometimes. Okay, we're gonna carry on from that. And move on to uh, spinal cord repair. Um, and apparently they can repair spinal cord damage now using uh, the patient's own stem cells. Um, and part a little dry this morning. Cheers. So apparently this has um, potential to repair stroke damage as well. Uh, so they've done trials with people and they have noted significant motor function improvement. And 
the fun thing with this is no substantial side effects. That's the one great thing is when you can find a medication that helps a lot of people without harming a lot of people at the same time. And of course, that's a huge breakthrough that will positively affect the world. It's got a little bit bunched up here. So I'm going to redo, redo the pin in the corner. A little bit too much material bunched up in there. <clears throat> Pull that corner right in tight to this corner. It's one thing the pinning on this project to when there's corners like this is difficult. And I should probably share that with you, but I haven't quite gotten the hang of it yet, so I don't want to show you something and have you, you know, lead you down the wrong path. So I'll see if I can perfect something there and then uh, I'll show you if I if I ever do get it down. <laughs> I might just fumble through the whole thing, and that's okay. Because it's not that important. Stopping doesn't get you anywhere. So let's trim this out a little bit. Wasn't a very ladylike pose. So I'm gonna get back to my uh, back to my side saddle position here. <clears throat> Now, I wrote down in my notes here, treat, treatments for eczema and MS. That is all I wrote down. So if you have issues with eczema or MS, there have been some breakthroughs. If you want to Google it, <laughs> give it a Google. I didn't really um, write down much from those articles. There's, I think it was just I didn't really understand a lot of it, so I just left it alone. Um, you know, I come on here and, and I talk about medical breakthroughs and, and give out all these facts and everything, and I don't I don't know anything about this stuff. I read an article, you know, um, and I just try to pass along the, the positive news to you. Um, so sometimes I just don't feel comfortable going into the details when I don't understand them.
thread the needle here. Maybe not quite as exciting as Top Gun, you know, threading the needle. Flying supersonic. But this is this is my level of involvement right here. This is my threading the needle. Very literal. interesting article I found was um, about people with habitual coughs like unexplained no reason for them to be coughing but they cough either you know every so often or constantly uh, but with no no medical reason and uh, they are treating these patients with the power of suggestion. So the way they're taking it is if there's no reason for it, it must be in your head. And So let's go to that source. And there's a, um, a doctor out there, Dr. Weinberger. And he has what he calls his Weinberger Suggestion Therapy. Uh -oh. I've gotten a little bit twisted up in my safety pin here. There we go. So, the, you know, you hear that, you might think, sure, right, whatever. Well, then I will say the words 95% success rate. And that might get you back on track here. Some of them cured within one 30-minute session. Some of them, it takes a few sessions over a few days. But just through talking with this doctor, even over video, you know, uh, people are cured of habitual coughing. Um, this one kid apparently was coughing non-stop for months and within like you said a few sessions he was down to the occasional cough that would slip out from coughing non-stop to the occasional cough throughout the day and just through the power of suggestion just through the power of the, the mind of words um, so it's just amazing what Because like, the, the mind controls everything. And if you can make yourself believe something, or have someone say something to you that changes 
something deep in you that makes your coughing stop. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. You know, sometimes just hearing something, someone saying something else makes you realize you know, some sort of major self-discovery or subconscious release or something like that and suddenly something that's been bothering you for years is just gone. And that's why therapists are so valuable. Speaking of valuable, the other great thing about this um, Weinberger suggestion therapy is that it is available free on YouTube. If you look up Weinberg, Weinberger suggestion therapy, I haven't looked up the actual video yet, but if you are interested and you do, uh, it is apparently out there free, free to view on YouTube. That's a, that's one thing that I really respect is when people have a gift and they just give it freely. You know, like some of these huge uh, what do they call them? Big pharma. You know, some of these huge pharmaceutical companies. Why not just give away some of your medications? You know, why not reduce prices for certain groups? You know, there's so much, so incredibly, stupidly much money out there. You know, for one person to have to, to, to own multiple million dollar mansions like why 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 not use that mo that ho that money for housing that housing that money for housing for people who have nothing yes it's nice to have nice things yes it's nice to keep up with the next guy that's got five mansions it's, 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 it's ridiculous there's no point Excess is excessive. I'm interested to see how this turns out, so I think I'm going to keep on going till I'm done. You know, I'm surprised I had a video a little bit ago that I really thought I was going to have some negative reaction to talking about residential schools and Hitler. You know, I figured there'd be a bit of negative backlash, but I'm, I'm hoping that everyone has kind of, kind of got where I was coming from, because um, I don't think I said anything that was really inappropriate. 
Uh, yeah, just hope I didn't defend anyone. I don't. It's the last thing that I want to do is is offend. Let's go through what we talked about already a bit here while I finish this up. Artificial corneas are a thing. Artificial kidneys are soon to be a thing. Lyme disease, soon to not be a thing, possibly syphilis as well mixed in there. Spinal cord injury. There's hope for that now with stem cells. And there was a big uproar against stem cells at first. Um, I think they were doing something like taking them out of embryos and, and stuff like that, aborted fetuses and, and things like that, so there was a big outcry against that. And now they're using stem cells from the, the patients themselves. So, you know, in the whatever it is, 20 years that uh, they've been doing this stuff, they have gotten it to the point that they don't have to, <laughs> let's use a kind word and say outsource. Uh, for stem cells anymore. Um, they uh, they t just take it out of the patients themselves and they, I can see where that'd be beneficial um, aside from the whole other issue uh, because you know better chance of compatibility, tissue compatibility with uh, uh, the person it's going into. New treatments for eczema and MS. And the power of the mind is being used to stop people with habitual, unexplainable coughing for free. And that's the one thing. If you do have a gift, if you do have an ability, share it. Speaking of which...
didn't quite judge the amount of thread that I needed correctly. So I'm going to have to do one more. One more threading of the needle. Sarah with my, my morning coffee, decaf, and the nerves don't like the caffeine. thread here. Finish this up, see how it looks, see how it turned out. Yeah, if you have a gift, there's something that you do extraordinarily well, just put it out there. share their gifts, the world is a better place. And if your gifts are curing diseases, all the better. If your gift is a certain type of stitch that you do exceptionally well, share it with the world. You know, if you can crochet like nobody's business, put it out there. Tell your friends. People, there's always people that want and appreciate things like this. seems to be working decently well at least. It, does, it is getting a bit sore after a session. But I'm thinking maybe, maybe it's not broken. Maybe that's why we haven't heard back from the hospital. So I did go in, I got x-rays, and they said they'd call, and they haven't. And we did call back, but it was the night shift, so they didn't have a clue. Looks like we got a little bit extra material in there. I can just trim that out. After we tie off.
snip. And pull some pins. some pins and have a peek. <clears throat> oh, I gotta get back to doing my, my voice from my diaphragm more from, than from my throat. It's actually a lot easier on my throat or on my, you know, on everything if I use this voice if I'm climbs up in my throat like it does sometimes and uh, it can get sore after a while. Anywho. That's from the back. Decent amount of sewing today. Must be a long video. I've lost track. I finished with my topics a while ago, so let's see from the other side. Yeah. Not my best work. A little bit uneven. But this actually turned out a lot better than I thought it would. Going through these corners. Cool. I am happy with it. Yeah. It's getting big. Very cool. Very cool. Well, thanks, uh, thanks a lot for joining me. I do really value the time we get to spend together. And uh, till next time. Cheers. Keep chilling. Don't forget your cookie. Peace.